Andrew. Hello, good evening, London. Let's get to know each other on a count of three. Just shout out your name, one, two, three. Yeah. Amazing. Let's get to know each other even further now. On a count of three, just shout out your credit card details, one, two, three. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hello, Freudian lady. <laughs> Hello, wine person. Hello, world. Hi, my name is uh, Immigrant. Um, yeah, I'm a, I'm a little foreign. Can I have a genuine guess where I'm from? Poland? Serbia? Bulgaria? Anyone? <laughs> Belarus? Slovakia? I'm just going to keep going. Romania? Romania? Very close. I'm from Manchester. <laughs> I'm, I'm Macedonian. And uh, for 30 years, our country was called the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia. Which country in the world starts with the word former? <laughs> we might as well call it future Russia. Because <laughs> they will invade. <laughs> yeah, we changed the name. And uh, they changed the name now to North Macedonia. But there is no South Macedonia. <laughs> Just North Macedonia. There's like North Macedonia and Greece. It's like being from Northampton, and then there's France. <laughs> where the hell is Southampton? <laughs> so yeah, that's where I'm from. And uh, it's really good to be in your country. I moved here about three years ago to steal jobs. Um, <laughs> not from you, from the Romanians. <laughs> in fact, the bouncer is really unhappy with me. <laughs> He's a nice bloke. He's from Romania. And uh, give me a cheer if you like London. I hate London. <laughs> I hate London. Like, I, I try to talk to the neighbors here. Do you know your neighbors in London? Yeah. yeah. yeah? Okay. You must live in Chelsea or some posh shit like that. <laughs> I try to talk to my neighbors. I was like, hello, my name is Vlad. I, I just moved in here, come in for a coffee anytime. You know, they, they said hello, and the next day they put a fence. <laughs> the great British welcome. But people here, like, uh, when I say my name is Vlad, they go, oh, like Vladimir Putin. That's not a nice comparison. <laughs> so I fight back. I'm like, what's your name? Jimmy. Ah, oh, like Jimmy Savile. <laughs> Take that, motherfucker. <laughs> Take that. Yeah, um, it's good to be here. I, I, I made a friend, his name is Tim, and uh, Tim gave me some good advice in the beginning. He said, Vlad, if you want to integrate and learn English, what you need to do is you need to go out around the streets and observe how British people behave, listen to their conversation and learn from that. So fair enough, Tim. And then I saw him two days later. I was like, Tim, how are you, you cunt? <laughs> <laughs> You're a top cunt, mate. That's why you are. <laughs> top cunt, matey. So yeah, it's good to be here. Uh, yeah, give me a cheer if you're in a relationship. <laughs> Amazing. Are, are you guys in a, in a relationship? There was some knee. <laughs> 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 Is that your foreplay? <laughs> How long have you guys been? Uh, are you in a relationship or a brother and sister? What's the... <laughs> I'm getting some Game of Thrones vibes here. <laughs> that is your brother. Okay, like a threesome. It's getting weirder. <laughs> How long have you guys been together? Seven years. Seven years. Okay, is that, is that correct? Okay, because you gave him a look like, better get it right, motherfucker. And, and you did. So, well done. You're getting some jiggy jiggy tonight. Um, <laughs> Uh, I'm in a relationship as well. Uh, she's seven years older than me, which is not weird now, but when I was 12, she was 19. <laughs> like, I, I, and I like her, but she's a bit of a troll. Like, uh, once we went out for dinner, and she was kind of tired, she was quiet, and a friend was like, Larissa, why are you quiet? And she goes, oh, because Vlad beats me. <laughs> and I was like, huh, that's not true. <laughs> and then after dinner, I was like, Larissa, don't say that. How many times can you say it before people actually believe you? And she's like, shall I stop? I said, yeah, please stop. <laughs> And then we were out yesterday, we caught up with some friends, and they were like, hey, Larissa, what's new? And she goes, oh, Vlad told me to stop telling you he beats me. <laughs> That's worse, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I live with her and, and her sister together. Her whole family is like a rap song. Like, uh, uh, my girlfriend's name is Larissa, the, father is Ma uh, the mother is Marissa, uh, the sister is Chanel, the father is Marcel, and they have a cat called Tinkerbell. <laughs> it's like an entire thing. And uh, I mean, uh, all right, somebody got it a bit too late. <laughs> he must be a police officer. Hello, sir. Or an immigration officer, in my case. Uh, we, during lockdown, we got engaged uh, during lockdown. Yay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, we're, we're gonna, we decided we're going to get married in Macedonia. 
uh, because of the mountains, there's the, it's cheap. It's very cheap. <laughs> she met my family, my, my grandma, she's very superstitious. You know, she's like, Vlad, it's going to rain tomorrow. I'm like, how do you know? My knee hurts. I'm like, okay, man, don't come to England. You're gonna end up in a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> then there's my parents. Like, they're so different people. Like, I tried to book them holiday once. They're like, my mom's like, I don't want to go to Italy. I want to go to Greece. My dad's like, I don't want to go to Greece. Your mom will be there. Like, totally <laughs> different people, you know? So they have this one Facebook profile. And an ex of my dad messaged him, like, that he dated back in 1987. And suddenly, there's, my mom changed the profile photo to a photo of them with the title description, loving you since 1984. <laughs> So I, I told him, I was like, I, I, he was in the living room, I was like, Dad, well, you can use your Facebook as well, you know, your Facebook is, is for you. He's like, no, no, close the door. I'm like, are you scared of her? No, no, I'm texting my ex on WhatsApp. <laughs> I'm like, are you having an affair? He's like, Vlad, do you think this is about sex? I've been married for 30 years. This is not about sex. So what is it about? It's about pissing her off. That's what it is about. <laughs> Thank you for the marriage tip. I think I'm going for a divorce soon. <laughs> So yeah, it's very, it's very nice to be here. I am, I am trying to understand how your country works and stuff. I don't understand two things though, uh, like the cold and hot water tap, why? And Ed Sheeran, that's, <laughs> like don't get me wrong, I like him. Like I think he makes really good elevator music. You know, where, I saw him on the telly today, again, he's like doing this, oh, give money to charity, me, to donate money. Where's the camera? Hey, Ed, aren't you like, don't you have like a castle? Can't you like sell a cannon? I really liked your performance at Game of Thrones because I was wishing you'd die, but you kept. <laughs> Just realized Shiran. Your last name is what every girl uh, does when she sees you. <laughs> I just realized that. <laughs> Shiran. Um, he named his daughter Antarctica, which is a terrible idea. What a terrible idea. What if, so if I have a daughter, what am I going to name her? Gemma, the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia. <laughs> I think Prince would be jealous. Uh, I did open a uh, bank account here as well. Uh, online bank account. I was really excited. I'll tell you what the password is. Please don't judge me. It was a bit immature. The password is Big Dick 13 <laughs> What I didn't know is that to activate the account, I have to go to the bank and speak to Angela, the bank manager, a lady in her 60s. Right, so I get there and she's like, what's your password? And I thought if I spell it out really slowly, she would notice. I was like, B, I, G. <laughs> and she types it in, she looks at me, and then she winked at me. <laughs> and now everyone there knows me as Vlad the Impaler. Uh, I do get on the, on, on the trains a lot as well, and, and what happened yesterday, I fell asleep on the train, I woke up at the wrong train station, and I'm at the gates, the ticket inspector is coming, and I decided to play the I don't speak English card. So he came, he's like, this ticket is for King's Cross, this is not King's Cross. I go, King's Cross, yes, good, good. <laughs> he's like, oh my God, oh, I can't deal with this today, I can't, he opens the gates, he's like, just walk through. Just walk through, yeah? As I walk through, I went, thanks, mate, you're a top cunt. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are fantastic. I am getting that, oh, the queue, all right. I'm not really used to getting the stage queue because uh, we had communism. If you run over time, you just get shot. <laughs> That's why we only have good comedians. All the bad ones are dead. Okay, I, I, like, I feel like I'm gonna end on something new. Let's see how this goes. Uh, I think we really f didn't really explore the 9-11 jokes there. Uh, <laughs> no, I'll tell, you, I'll tell you my experience. And what I went to the, I went to the States to, for on a work and travel visa. And here's how stupid my brain was. I thought 9-11 was a burger place. Because there's a shop called 7-Eleven. And I thought 9-11 was the upgrade to 7-Eleven. And I was at this party and these two guys were talking about 9-11. And uh, I said, oh, have you tried the burgers there? And, and the guy turned and he was like, ha, oh, you mean it's a pancake because they flatten it out. And right, so I said this once and this American came after the show and he was like, hey, buddy, hey, pal, you know that 9-11 joke? That was a bit much. You should take your comedy seriously. So, okay. 
You know that uh, uranium you bombed us with in 1999? That was a bit much. Okay, that was a bit much. I mean, it, it didn't happen, but I lied, but he doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, lots of Macedonians have cousins in Serbia, and, and when they bombed Belgrade, we were like, okay, we're not watching sex in the city anymore. <laughs> and we threw away our Coca-Cola cans and smashed them. <laughs> Fuck capitalism, right? Okay, you guys, you guys seem like a, like a lovely crowd. Um, I, I, once I got heckled, this guy shouted at the back, he's like, you're stealing our jobs. How can I steal a job if it's already vacant? I think immigrants do jobs, no one else does. So if you don't trust me, tell me, when is the last time Tom from Essex sold you a kebab? <laughs> Never. So it's me or Jalal from Bangladesh. <laughs> Who's your Uber driver? Jalal again, he's working two jobs. <laughs> he's everywhere, Jalal. He's even in my Tinder group. <laughs> Swipe right for Jalal. <laughs> Guys, you've been amazing. I'll be glad. Have a great evening. Bye-bye. <laughs>